what is up girl bosses today we are getting thick because i gotta watch my phrasing uh we're, we're listening to new distant we last heard tyrants come and that was a oof, oof, lit song reminded me of Trinitopia. before that exofilth one of the best songs distant has ever released and with orphan of blight comes the announcement of their next album heritage hell yeah really excited for a distant all-time favorite band love the boys they ball out the wazoo Speaking like a white man right now. Um, anyways, I think we should get into it. Before we do, really appreciate if you like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel, it's free. Uh, helps you find new music. Isn't that a good deal? Helps me out a ton, all for free. And in the description down below, you can find all my social media links, music, merch, all more. J j give it a look-see. Cost you nothing. Cost you nothing. Let's do it. That's fucking epic. Okay. Nerdy jump scare. Jesus Christ, man. The Black and Deathcore angle is coming kind of out of nowhere. And then the classic just uh, beat down. Love that shit. I see Of course. <laughs> I've lost one. Oh, we found it. Yeah. 
shit. Imagine if they just continued it again. <laughs> there and actually. Okay, yeah. Yarn has a really nice head. I was just looking at it through the whole video as he's like drumming. I was like, that's a really nice head. Shout out Yon's out. It's, it's a good head. Very nice head. Uh, anyways, really, really do like that song. And pretty diverse. So like now we're three songs in. Uh, Exo Filth, uh, Tyrant Scum, Orphan of Blight. All these are very different songs. Uh, really, really cool that they went, uh, you know, with the uh, Black and Deathcore angle. It is kind of like a bit of a trend now, but they still did make it their own, which I do appreciate. It still has that like... Uh, like the deathcore side of things is very classically distant and then on the black metal side. It's uh, you know, honestly, I feel like fairly uh, oh, Faithful to I would say I don't know that opening really remind me of Carrick Angren. I've been listening to a lot of black and deathcore Lately, I've also been listening to a lot of Carrick Angren So maybe I'm biased because I also feel like with all the black and deathcore songs I've been hearing lately. I'm like, oh, that makes me think of Carrick Angren I did the same thing with Love Sulphur, So maybe it's just like some bias that's on my head right now uh, but it's what I hear. It's what I hear. I keep hearing it. Uh, it's fucking sick stuff. Of course, you know, it is kind of the trend right now, but I do appreciate the way it's being done. You know, just because it's popular doesn't mean you gotta bash it. Some people don't. <laughs> Some people haven't gotten that memo yet. <laughs> uh, I'm a little sick of, like, all the Lorna Shore bashers, the Black and Escort bashers. It's just like, everyone wants to be a music critic. Shut the fuck up. Just enjoy the music. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, but yeah, really cool stuff. I think the big takeaways from this are black metal, cool. Still has that classic distance sound, epic. And then also it's done in a fairly novel way and we're going to get a very diverse album. I will say probably my current ranking for the three singles we've heard so far, I'd say Exofil's number one, Orphan of Blight number two, Iron Scum number three. Excited to see how the rest of the album pans out just because you know, Three very different songs, still uh, all connected by that classic distant uh, down tempo sound. So I think we're gonna get something real, real exciting. I think they said it's dropping in February. Yeah, February 10th. That's pretty close. Let me know your thoughts. What your favorite of the three singles are for me? Again, Exophil, number one. It's got the number one spot. Number two, Orphan of Blight. Number three, Tyrants Come. Uh, later. <laughs>